Hello, thank you for joining me today. I'm your host, NJW, and this is Stutter Pot TV, and I'm back with another crime edition episode from around the world. Thank you for joining me today, and let's see what we got on tap today. I think today is Anchorage, Alaska. The homeless camp at 3rd and Ingra is seeing more residents by the day. At the same time, crime rates are being reported to police daily. Those crimes making it more difficult to provide adequate support to residents living there. This report from the Anchorage Police Department details calls to dispatch in the span of a recent week, August 24th through the 31st. In that time, police responded to nearly two dozen emergency calls that came from East 3rd Avenue and Ingra Street. Over the last week of August, calls to the Anchorage Police Department from a homeless camp at 3rd and Ingra included various reports of incidents there, alleged mental health episodes, self-harm, misconduct involving weapons, disturbances with weapons, suspicious activity, even a kidnapping. Concerns are rising. It's crazy that you wouldn't think they have this many homeless people in Anchorage, Alaska, but they are all over this city. And the mayor, uh, uh, recently came up with a proposal to ship them to California so he can get another mayor his problems. But you didn't expect this many because it's so cold in Anchorage, Alaska. Rising over safety in and around the allowed camp in downtown Anchorage. While APD says the kidnapping ended up being an intoxicated person who also needed medical attention, it is clear that this space is becoming increasingly unsafe. A mixture of a lot of violence, um, there's drug trafficking, there's um, people who are homeless that are being preyed upon, a lot of victims of um, extortion sex trafficking, drug dealing, and um, it's just growing. Rob C. is a community liaison for Henning Inc., a housing and support group focused on people experiencing homelessness in Anchorage. It has clients living at the 3rd and Ingra homeless camp, and C. comes to check on them every so often. But over time, the list of people living there has grown. He estimates that there are more than 200 individuals currently living in the downtown camp, with many of them describing being on the front lines of danger within this tent city. The way this place has been, you know, with the shootouts and everything and the violence, the gun violence and the drugs, like people tend to naturally mind their business. They're scared to venture out past their little little crowd that they have that they trust. This is a real thing. I think the vast majority of people do not believe that there is this amount of violence happening on any block of in Anchorage, Alaska. And I'm telling you, it's bad as here on this corner is just as bad as it is in any big city. In the lower 48. Russ Reno is a business owner and homeowner in the downtown area who has long been outspoken about issues surrounding those experiencing homelessness. He lives a short walk from the third and Ingra homeless camp and says he would like to see more of a law enforcement response, not only for the people living inside this camp, but also to support those living nearby. My, my motor home being broken into and, and people just with no disregard to it's my property. It's my personal property, and I have a right to my my own livelihood and uh, my pursuit of happiness, you know? And and so that part is where it's really tearing for me to, to decide how do I want to approach this. It's like a... Look at all those tents. But that is nationwide now. It's, a, it's, it's so many homeless people that is it was turning into a crisis, and there's no solution to it. They have no solution to this homeless academic that has hit the world. Not just the United States, it's all over the world you have so many homeless people. A mixture of good people and bad people here. But I can tell a lot of people have good hearts and they're wanting to put their life back together. The special assembly meeting will take place at City Hall from 1 to 2 in the afternoon tomorrow. Look for coverage on Alaska's news source at 5, 6, and 10. Thank you for joining me today. This is my episode of Around the United States Crime, the crime edition that I'm starting. And uh, hopefully I can bring you guys some more episodes. If, I, if this one is liked, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Once again, I'm your host, NJW. This is Stutter Pot TV. Thank you for joining me and see you on the next episode.